So here we are with Blend for Web version 15.11, and this version came out with some great new improvements, several of which are some of the new logic editor nodes. This will be a quick video to show you how to use the camera movement node. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I've just got your standard startup screen here. I'm going to add a few objects to our screen here. So I'm going to give us a sphere and I will give us a cylinder or a cone rather. And just to make them a little bit interesting, let's give them each their own material that's slightly less boring. What this new node allows you to do is move the camera to target a separate object and rotate around that object. So right now, if we exported it, it would probably rotate around the cube. We can do a quick export. Let's do a, a fast preview just to see where we're at right now without doing anything. So now we can zoom in and out and we can rotate around and it's, it is rotating around the center target. Okay, we're going to go ahead and, and duplicate these objects just for our uh, hit shift and collect all those and then shift D to duplicate those and move them up. And I'm going to kind of move around here. Where did they go? Let's move them up. And I'm going to move them out here like this. And I'm not going to render these objects. I'll either I'll either won't render them or I'll make them invisible because that's where the camera is going to be positioned. I'm going to just use those as a, as a point to position the cameras to. And one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shift duplicate them again. And I'm going to make them sort of a like a UI. I'm going to parent these to the camera so they're sort of like a UI element. And then I'm going to, let's see, let's scale those down a little bit like that. And I'm going to get those positioned in front of the camera how I want them to be. So, so I hit what I did is I hit control alt number pad zero and that put the camera to my current view. And then move those up like that and I'm going to hit uh, zero on the number pad to see how those uh, I'll put them down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make these uh, parented to the camera. So these will be all like clickable buttons. And we're going to have to name these appropriately too. So we understand what we're doing. And let's go ahead and I'm going to go uh, click, click, click and get those all selected and then hit click. And we're going to hit control P, parent, set parent to object. There we go. Let's see how that works now. Supposedly, um, make sure I'm not selected on anything and if I now let's do a quick preview and see how that's working uh, to make sure those objects are parented properly fast preview okay then that's good and we I do notice we don't have any lighting on our on our little cubes there so let's go ahead and add a light in that's gonna make those view nicely. You can go ahead and close that. Um, let's we'll shift duplicate that. And just put that kind of behind the camera there. And we're going to also parent that to the camera. Control P to parent the object. And let's go ahead and fast preview and see if that helps us out. There we go. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, start up our logic nodes. So I'm going to use this panel down here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to set that to our node editor. I'll come here to the scene tab. I'm going to come to logic editor and we'll spin that down. And I'm going to start a new one up and that's going to be B4W logic node tree. And I'll come down here and go to the uh, logic node view and we're going to make sure we're selected on the same one we we started up here and so now we have our entry point node that's our beginner default node 
the way this is supposed to work is if I click on my sphere, it will then, the camera will then locate to this sphere and be focused on this sphere. So let's go ahead and we should probably name everything properly. So let's name that cone, cube, and let's pull that down there, sphere. Okay, that's good. Those are good names. And that's cone L1. So that's going to be our location of camera. So let's call that cone LOC and we'll call that one cube LOC and we'll call that one sphere LOC and then these are these are our, our buttons so that one's going to be these are actually inside of our camera so let's spin our camera down there we go so there's our cone and that's going to be our button. So let's going to let's change that to cone BTN. And we'll change that little dude right there to cube BTN. And our sphere There we go. So now all our names are set properly so we can find them. We can find these objects in the node editor. Let's go ahead and add some nodes. So here's our entry point. What we're going to need to do this is first a switch node. So let's go to add logic node, switch select. This node will check to see if we've selected any of our buttons. And there is one entry here. So we will go ahead and add a couple sockets. So our first one, let's make our first one a cone, BTN, for our cone button. Second, the cube, BTN, for our cube. And the third, our sphere, BTN. Let's use my scroll wheel to scroll down. So I've got cone, cube, and sphere. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put our entry point into there. And now I'm going to need three move camera nodes. So let's go to add logic node move camera. Let's shift D to duplicate, shift D to duplicate. And we're going to place them something like this. Let's zoom in and see what we need to do. Okay, so for our cone BTN, it's going to go to this node and we're going to select the camera. And our location is going to be the cone LOC and the target is going to be the cone. And for this one, Our cube BTN will bring us to this one. So our we'll select our camera, and the location is going to be the cube LOC, and the target is going to be the cube. And this one is going to be our sphere BTN. And we'll select our camera, our sphere location. That's not it. And I used my scroll wheel to scroll down to that, by the way. Sphere location and the target is going to be the sphere. So camera, sphere, okay, looks good. So there is all of our logic. Now what we have to do is put our return routes. So everything has to be returned, including the miss. So let's hit Shift A to add a layout node. So we need three over here. I'm duplicating is those is what I'm doing. Shift D. And I need one here and one here. Okay, there are the reroutes. I'm going to see if, if we can not render these and see if it will still go to that location. So I think I can go to 
um, the object panel and find a do not render for all of these. We'll see if that works. Good, we'll try that. In our scene here, I'm gonna move those camera location shapes to a slightly different positions. Let's just do this. Let's just look above it here. And I'm gonna go ahead and move that one. Let's move that one up there and move this one down here. And we'll move Let's move that one down here. There we go. If you forgot to add the reroute in for this miss, then every time you process a miss, every time you click somewhere and it's a miss, it's like a dead end in your program. So those are all done and we're ready to try it out. So let's do our fast preview. So if we click on the various things, nothing really happens. That's fine, that's how it's supposed to be. If we click on the cube, oh, okay. So, so we're gonna set our duration to three. Now what this means is that's how long it takes for the transition from point A to point B. So the camera is gonna ease from one place to the other. So we're gonna make that actually a three on all of these, because that's a nice kind of a slow transition. There, that should work. And wherever the camera moves to, it leaves you in a situation where you can go ahead and rotate around that center. There we go. All right, folks, look for more videos as I get time. There's lots of exciting new features that are out with Blend for Web 15.11. I doubt I'll have time to cover them all, but I will do the best I can. I'm going to shoot for a video a week if I can pull it off, but I have a lot of things going on, so I might not make it, but we'll give it our best shot.